Let us continue a little bit more because this guy became boring for me. He's boring, isn't he? I mean, he's boring, city is stupid. We, we, you know, we did get him busted in the first second of the video. The first second. Let us move where we stopped before. Uh, anyway, he will quote for you, Jesus uh, said, the one who sent me, the one who sent me. My friend, Jesus is saying to them, you, the man you speak in front of you is sent by the Father. But isn't it Jesus said, the one who saw me, he saw the Father. So shame on you. It's a book. It's not just a word. I can do the same as the Muhammadan do. As an example, I can show you where in the Quran says, don't approach prayer when you, uh, when you are drunk and say, oh, you are allowed to drink and pray. Well, this is Quran I'm showing you. You know, Quran says that, not me. يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا لَا تَقْرَبُوا الصَّلَاةَ وَأَنْتُمْ سَكَارًا So, can I say, this is what they are doing. They quote a verse, play with it, try to give it their own interpretation. Because remember, if I am debating a Muslim, I debate him about his belief, not about what I think. So, if I want to talk about, about this verse to a Muslim, I will not say to him, the Quran approve you to drink. That's not true. The Quran, in this moment, was not forbidden for Muslims to, to, to drink. And Muslims, they are because Muslims who join Muhammad in his religion, they were a bunch of gang. They are Sa'aliq. Even the Hadith says Sa'aliq. Sa'aliq in Arabic is not only the outlaw, it is the, the trashy gang. You know, like the, 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 the savage gang, the filthy one, who they are refused by their own tribe. The tribe, each time any of them, he do a crime which is horrible. They cast him out of the tribe and they wash his hands, their hands from his blood, which means the other tribe, they cannot take revenge from this tribe because now he is cast out. They cast him out. And this is the ones who follow Muhammad Sa'aliq. Look what Muhammad, and look here, the Muslim translation, they says, a group of poor immigrant, look the translation. In Arabic it says, Ya Mahshur Sa'aliq. Faqala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Abshiru Ya Mahshur Sa'aliq. They are Sa'aliq. If you say to an Arab man, you are Sa'aliq, he will kill you. Try it. Right? We have a person says tomorrow I got baptized. Praise the Lord. Good for you, my friend. So you are, you left Islam just, just, just you know, very uh, okay. That's wonderful. So as you see, the one who follow Muhammad, they are Sa'aliq, not poor immigrant. They are Sa'aliq. They are outlaw. They are criminals. They are gang. Muhammad himself is a Sa'aliq. Bin Sa'aliq al-Arab. He's a caravan rider. He's a thief. He's a killer. Have you ever heard of a god? He made a verse saying it's not Muhammad who stole the panty. The Muslim, they say to you, it says panty. Well, the interpretation says they are fighting over a piece of a clothing. Have you ever heard of a god? He make a verse to defend that the prophet is not the one who stole an underwear. I mean, guys, look at this. We are debating with the Muhammadan about if Jesus is God or not. Do you see the quality? People, Muslims, do you see what we are debating about? When we debate with Muslims, we are debating about a child molester, filthy, criminal. Uh, even the Quran speak about the Muslims accusing him of stealing underwears. When we speak about Jesus, we are debating if he is God or not. That's mean his quality is amazing to the point why a human being would think that Jesus is God. God is so good. You see, if Jesus was doing bad stuff here and there, even small ones, we will say there is no way he's God, but he's perfect. When we speak about Allah, 
and Muhammad we love. I mean, look at this God. Anyone notice with me how stupid this verse is? Do you notice what is what is stupid about the verse? Okay, let us say, you see, the Quran says that Jesus, he, tell, he can tell you what you hide in your houses, correct? That's what the Quran says. <clears throat> In chapter 3, verse number 49, it says, Jesus, he can tell you, I can declare to you, I can, and I can declare to you what you eat and what you store in your houses. All right? Surely this is a sign for you to believe. Okay. Jesus can tell you what you hide in your houses and what you did, which means this is the end scene. Chapter 3, verse number 49. The Muslim they claim this is by the uh, Allah leave Allah He gave him uh, the, the the option the power but that will make him equal to God because He gave him the power to make the blind see He may, he, he gave him the power even to create from the mud the bird He make him the, the the power to 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 make the dead alive He create He create the Quran says that no in the same time when Muhammad was accused of stealing underwear. What Allah did? Did he say, okay guys, this is the guy who took it, go to his house, open the drawer, go to under his pillow, or make, ask him to take off his pants so you can see the panty there? No. Look what he said. No prophet could ever be false to his trust. This is false translation. Change the translator. Let us see a different one. Look at the translation. Guys, it is not for any prophet to take illegally part of the booty, which means they are fighting over theft booty. Do you see the word booty? Do you know what booty is? Booty, I attack you. I kill you. I take your TV. I take your bed. I take your shoes. I take your jewelry. I take your phone. I take your watch. That is booty. So now the Muslims are fighting over the booty, accusing their prophet that he stole some of the booty. And Allah, he sent them a verse says, it is not the prophet who took the booty. Okay, who? Why did not tell us who? Which means this verse confirm that Allah is false and confirm that Muhammad is the one who took the booty. And how we knew that? Because if I am God, I should tell them who is the real one who took the booty so I can save the honor of Muhammad from being a thief twice because he's a thief when he took the booty and now he's a thief when he stole from the booty. So shouldn't Allah say, okay, it's not Muhammad who took the booty, it's the guy, maybe his name is a Christian prince, go to his house, check out and you will find, you will find the, 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 the red panty because a Christian prince, you want to make a cartoon about Muhammad. Allah do not know who took the booty. Otherwise he will say, so this verse confirmed too, Muhammad is a thief and Allah is not God. Otherwise, how come Jesus can tell you what you store in your houses and Allah do not know who is the one who have this booty in his house now? Yeah, you know, a Muslim, he might say to you, it doesn't say he's stolen underwear. Okay, we can go to the interpretation. We can read. Chapter 3, verse number 161. Hmm? It's about a piece of a cloth. It's not a booty. It's not a. It's not a, a panty. What is it? A bra? Read. Hmm. This is the Muslim interpretation, not mine. When some red velvet, it's red too. It's not only it's not only a piece of it's red. When uh, uh, some red velvet cloth went missing in the day of Badr, guys, for God's sake, imagine those people they ride a caravan. Why they are fighting over a red fabric, a red piece of a cloth? What kind of people they are? You know what I mean? They are Sa'anik. Look how savage they are. They went to war and now they are missing. There's one panty missing. Who took it? See the savage? 
and they accuse who they accuse their prophet so you can imagine what kind of followers Muhammad he have do you, do you know what I'm saying what kind of followers imagine imagine I accuse Jesus that he stole something <laughs> God forbid <laughs> is it hilarious this is how stupid how garbage this cult is it is a officially stupid cult link okay no problem I will give you a link here we go here we go you can save it <laughs> 